Cheers, everyone. It's Texas on Tap with Miss Helen, along with producer Kyle. Hello. Good to see your face. Hey, good to see you, too. Sorry I missed you this week in good old Arlington, Texas, but uh, it looked like you had a good time. Well, and you know, okay, so that's a prime example of me, because last time we talked, and you know my plans were not to go, mm-hmm. and oh, every now and then I have to be spontaneous and see to my pants. It was just one of those things where things kind of got to a lull, and I had everything taken care of on the weekend here, and it was a Sunday-Monday event, so we decided at last minute, because I already had my tickets because of my membership, we just decided last minute, let's load up and go, and had, oh yeah, I had such a good time. We'll talk about that a little bit later with some of the Folks, I got to visit with and catch up with some of our favorites and some new yeah. faces as well. It's just a lot of fun. Very cool. Well, let's talk about some music. I don't think we have yeah. any new ones today. Oh, actually, I guess we've got we've got one new one today that I'm pretty excited about. Otherwise, we've got some uh, some classics and some heavy hitters. Uh, I'm going to let you go first because I have a transition plan after my tackling. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Well, I will kick it off with one we are very familiar with here on the show. I think he was like first five guests. Mr. Matt Castillo just dropped a brand new one of streaming today. And this one takes me back to the early 2000s. It's got like Keith Urban, Gary Allen, just pretty vibes. And it's uh, the song's called If It Rains Today. Um, His voice just sounds so raw and emotional. It's super cool. The production's fantastic. I really like the driving drums throughout the whole song. It kind of adds to the moodiness, similar to how we were talking about the Kinfo song last week. Um, and, uh, one thing that stood out to me was the unique mix on the harmony vocals. Did you notice how it was kind of like spacey in the background, but it was like, it sounded like almost like wispy and it just like got my attention. It was like, what is going on here? This is new and different and I have to keep listening. So good stuff, Matt. Yes. Yes. Well, it is good stuff. And one thing that I did notice about this song from Matt is such maturity in his voice. And of course the mix and the production, but I love the whole storyline and and the twist with it. Cause at first you're thinking about the whole mother nature thing with the rain and like the heat coming off the asphalt, how it does in the summer and the grass is, is brown. And if it would just come a big thunderstorm and a downpour, then everything would get cleaned up. And then he's actually, he transitions to actually talking about his heart and his heartbreak. So, I mean, just genius on that song. And I, you know, it's funny spending time with Matt, like I did, you just don't expect that voice from him. You know, he's just so chill and he's so laid back. He's so sweet. And then all of a sudden he, you, you, you come home and you listen to this and it's like, oh, he's just amazing. See, that's funny. Me and me and Helen, as you know, uh, listeners out there don't disagree very often, but I'm going to wholeheartedly disagree with that. I feel like he is very nice. He's a sweet, genuine dude and easy to be around and enjoyable, but he's got a commanding presence. When you're in the room with him, you feel it. And it's like, he's, He's a rock star, or at least that's how I've always felt around him. So it totally oh, makes sense awesome. to me that he's that he's belting it out like this on these emotional songs. I guess that's where I have so much more age on you kids. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like I just, and maybe he's just being respectful, you know, the kind of. Mm. But yeah, he's such a he's just such a sweet, genuine person. Yeah, totally. All right. Well, moving on, let's take the tap room doors open. And this is that new young dude I was talking about. I actually go a little ways back with Mr. Ben Kadlicek. We covered the song him and Trent Cowie put out, I think around uh, a little less than a year ago. I think it was last summer. But anyways, he's got the first song of five off of a new EP coming out and it's called Heartbreak on Fire. This song is crazy. His voice is wild. It's soulful. It's gritty. It's like it puts him in this crazy position where he can be mainstream country. He can be Texas country. He can be mainstream pop. He's got all these things, beautiful piano. It's, I don't know. I just thought it was so cool. The production's raw and equally produced. And I don't know. I was like, I I always want to label things because that's kind of how we talk about stuff here, you know, but he's from Texas. He's a Houston dude. Now he's living the national life, killing it. Like I said, we got to go back. Um, We did, I was with him on, uh, well, I guess 2022, the Texas Country Music Cruise, and he played, and that was a whole lot of fun. Um, but yeah, he's he's got a crazy voice, and you know this song is a great lead off because it just gets me so excited for what's to come for the rest of the EP. It sings with so much passion about a passionate topic. So yeah, it was a great song. Definitely. Arrangement, production, everything is just absolutely amazing. Okay, mm-hmm. so we're going to keep the tap room door open. Is that where we are? Yeah. Austin, what we were talking about. Let's do it. Okay. So tap room door is open. New and out to radio is Daryl Dodd and Sunshine. Daryl Dodd and Sunshine. And that's actually a cover song from the 70s from Jonathan Edwards. So he's now done Sundown and Sunshine. 
<laughs> as covers. But yes. um, I just thought that that is just a song that we needed right now. It's like I have so enjoyed listening to the song, you know, getting ready for the podcast and, and seeing that it was a radio release. And it's like, thank you, Daryl Dodd. And I have something else to thank Daryl Dodd for. <laughs> Okay, Go so everybody knows everybody knows how I've been preaching about Luke Berry Hill, who is our catcher for Space Cowboys. He's in the Astros organization. He is also a super duper talented singer songwriter. I've been talking about Road to the Show, one of his his baseball song that that um, is it's on streaming. You can find him. Just look up Luke Berry Hill. You're gonna enjoy his music. But uh, I woke up the other morning and I was just looking through answering some messages, and all of a sudden on social media, Daryl Dodd wrote this long thing about. Luke Berryhill, but bottom line is Road to the Show is going out today to Texas Radio. Yeah. We got to get him on the show. I'll make it happen. I promise. Oh, gosh. I'm so excited. We'll talk more about that in a bit, but yeah, that's exciting. Yeah. Anyway, I had to bring that up. That just like, that was just made my morning. Okay. Holly Tucker, thank you. We've had Holly on the podcast. We have talked about this show. I mean, this song, not this show, this song, but it's from her album, You're Gonna Know My Name. And basically, this is one of those how she, you know, she's such a positive person and just it just just has such a great spirit about her. And it, it reflects in this song. It's about even though it's a breakup and, you know, it's taking the high road. Thank you for breaking my heart, wrecking my world. But I'm not going to, you know, use no curse words. I'm not going to do anything ugly. And then, you know, then it transitions in this song to in the church parking lot, strikes up a conversation with the old friend and and everything is just going to turn lovely but her voice is so good and this is um, a song that we have talked about before but it's um, out to radio officially now you'll be hearing it on your favorite texas country stations and it's holly tucker thank you yeah we're lots of thanks today full of thankfulness i feel like following our birthday party a couple weeks ago we're just thankful folks over here in texas thankfulness and sunshine and baseball songs coming to texas radio dang y'all i just can't even tell you so yeah, I, just real quick talking about that. I got to spend a lot of time. I ran into uh, Nate Burnham and his wife and just hugged their necks so hard because to me, honestly, they're like family. And so yeah, I was all over this stuff. But I told Nate about, um, I was talking about Savannah Bananas and I thought he should have been mm. doing cover announcing. He cracked up. His wife was like, I don't know if they would have been ready for that. But yeah, <laughs> so we talked about, I mean, it's like everybody I talk to, especially baseball people, it's like, have you heard the Luke Berryhill song? It's okay. cool how much hype he's got around him, you know, he's... Bring he's... it down. <laughs> well, I mean, it's opening day for you, I, or I guess for us, you know, the, the listener, you're a day behind, sorry about that, but it's opening day for that for the Strohs, so that just adds another level of excitement to it, and it, it might be harder to get Luke on a Zoom call now that uh, season's starting, and he's probably pretty busy back there, but, um, you know, we'll do what we can to get things going, and hopefully it's uh, hopefully it's a conversation that we get to bring to you guys pretty soon. Yeah, and just remember, Miss Helen was on top of this. And I've even <laughs> yeah, gotten on to some of my friends. I went, I went back and I've asked my friends, "Did you listen to that song yet?" No, no, I haven't had time. Mm. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna hear it right now because I'm gonna play it for you right now. There you go, Luke. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so Man. we're gonna look at what's popping and topping on the charts and talk about our friends at MoreThanMusicCreations.com. Yeah, more than music creations. They're awesome. They're our best friends. They are a Texas-based company raising money for Texas-based foster system uh, awareness and making awesome jewelry by hand, one of a kind. Every single piece that you purchase is made using guitar strings from one of your favorite Texas artists like Randy Rogers or Bree Bagwell or Zane Williams or Paul Eason from the Wilder Blue. You never Mm -hmm. know. Unless you buy from one of their specific collections, then you do know it's coming from them. So it's super cool. It's just a super, you know, incredibly unique concept and all in the name of a good cause made by great people. So they support us and we want you to go support them. Go over to morethanmusiccreations.com and tell them that uh, your friends, Miss Helen and producer Kyle, sent you. Yes, yeah, and find some good stuff there. Have you ever wondered how artists like Treaty Oak Revival, Red Clay Strays, and Aaron Watson maintain the high quality and high demand for their merchandise? CH Lone Star Promo is the answer. Created in Texas to serve Texas artists, and they're currently offering 15% off on all merch orders from musicians. Visit chlonestarpromo.com to get started and tell them Texas Toast sent you. I was reading the other day that it takes at least $1 million to break an artist. That's a ton of change, and it can feel overwhelming. But with social media leveling the playing field, you just need an effective strategy to release your music. 
Check out Release Rocket to ensure your single does not die after release day. You've already put time, effort, and tons of money into writing and recording your album. Let the guys at Release Rocket keep your new release alive. So lots of songs popping onto the Texas Country Music Chart, debuting in the top 100 this week. Flatland debuted at 41. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> debuted not at 41. Like, you know, like, I know, not surprising. And then uh, Jenna Paulette had a good debut in the top 100 with Darlin' Kinfo. They debuted in the top 100 at 95. Cody Jinks has a new single out. I changed the game. I got a CD from him today in my mail when I went to check my wow. mail. Yeah, I was like, because my postmaster was getting on to me. That's another story. I've told you before how we have to make sure we have our P.O. box number next to. And I mm. ordered some stuff and I thought it was coming UPS. So I was getting in trouble. And then I looked at this package and I was like, okay, it's all good. It's a good day. Uh, greatest spin increases, Wyatt Flores, Casey Donahue, Brie Bagwell's The Rescue. And I have a lot to say about Brie once we get through this popping and topping thing. So number one this week on the Texas Country Music Chart is Randy Rogers' band, and I won't give up. Texas Regional Radio Report, Ken Fo, again, they had a huge debut on this one. But uh, Randy Rogers' band is number one this week on Texas Regional Radio Report. CD Extraction, Texas. I just keep bringing up Ken Fo, their new one that we talked about last week. But um, it debuted on this chart this week at number 60 in the top 100. Wow. Just released it. Yeah. So Cody Canada and The Departed hit number one with them, that single L that they have out. So that's kind of what's popping and topping on the charts is nice, tons nice. of music is out there. It'll keep you busy once you start digging in. And uh, just tune into your favorite and support your favorite Texas country stations that are in your area. It's so important. I was reading an article today on um, how difficult it is with some of the radio stations. But we have mm -hmm. such a unique situation with our Texas country radio stations because we just kind of do our thing. And we have our Texas country music programming that's going so good in our family that ties it all together in the industry support so make sure if you have one of those stations in your listening area tune in if you don't you can find one and stream it online absolutely yeah and speaking of radio i wanted to go back to that and we were talking about the daryl song i looked that up because i could tell it was an older song based on the production and stuff and i, I never would have known it was a cover cover from the 70s but it's also a song he released he released that version of that recording in 2006 that's right. That's crazy. I, yes. He's just toying mm -hmm. with Texas radio. And I love it. He did that same thing, like you said, with Sundown. And it's like just putting out whatever song he wants. And I, I really, really respect that because Daryl's, you know, not only a very respected person in the scene and historically yes, a is. musician in, in the Texas area, but he's just doing whatever the hell he wants. Like the, everybody's always talking about rules and all this stuff. And even me, you know, I, I'm, I fall victim to things like that all the time. Like, oh, if you do things this mm -hmm. way, then it works best. But that just goes to show any artist out there listening that like, I mean, that song's probably going to do great at radio, you know, it, yes, it, 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 potentially because mm -hmm. he's Daryl Dodd. Sorry to cut you off. But like, you know, you just do whatever you want. Do whatever feels good. I, I love That's that. It. He does do it, it, like do that. it. Do it from the heart. Whatever, whatever your heart is telling you, whatever feels right, then that's what you do. And of course, I have to say, yeah. I've been a huge fan of Daryl Dodd, you know, from the very beginning and all these years, he always puts out such great music. And as someone coming from that programmed a, a you know, Texas radio station, it's like, it was always a thrill to get something from Daryl Dodd. It was like, oh, this is going to be good. And you'd get excited. You know, you'll get excited. There's particular artists, you know, or like particular songs like we talk about on the podcast that like mm. sometimes I'd go to bed the night before thinking I cannot wait to hit hit that button and I can't wait for everyone to hear that song. It just it gets so exciting. But mm -hmm. yeah, so a lot of us radio people were together, um, got to catch up with a lot of our you know, Coralis and Buzz and Ashley, and we were all oh, yeah. together. And I got to spend some time with uh, Brody Rivers. And we had just talked about his mm -hmm. new single. Brody is just an amazing young man. I enjoyed mm -hmm. hanging out with him. We had a good time. Me, him, Drew Fish. Oh, Drew and I had a good time as, as always. But uh, also I want to talk about Dallas Pryor. Got to catch up with him. He had been doing some shows in the stockyards while he came down for the awards. So that's a good oh, thing cool. for the Lazy Wayne Band. But uh, it was really funny because Bubba Wesley, um, he's been in, in the Texas country music scene for a long time. And I kept seeing Bubba coming down this way. And I was like, and I was trying to remember, this is where sometimes I could kick myself because my memory is just not what it used to be. Mm. And I was like, Bubba, we need to talk. 
And so he's kind of like my local guy because he grew up in bowling and, and he used to, well, he listened to me and CW on the radio. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. Yeah. So that was some of those kids that come up that listened. Yeah. Anyway, so spent some time with him and got caught up with him. So hopefully, um, we can get together with Bubba, maybe do some stuff and have him on the podcast because he's, yeah. he's, he's got a lot of stories and he's, he's just, a, he's just such a, I guess he has a presence. Like when you get around Bubba, it's like such a presence. So that was a lot of fun. Now I want to talk about the awards. Billy Joe Jones, she won the Fresh Faces show. So and, uh, but as far as the awards, actual awards, and I'm, I'm not saying this, I mean, this is true story. The most touching moments of the evening went to Brie Bagwell. Mm, I'm going to cool. stop. I can almost start. <laughs> I'm going to try not to tear up. So she and Whiskey come out, right? Let me get myself together. Mm -hmm. I'm visiting with David Adam Burns because David Adam Burns had just performed. And so Brie starts singing. She sang Rescue. And of course, at first I was like, I was standing there and I was like, I've never seen Whiskey shake. Like Whiskey was shaking, but I think it was Brie that was shaking. Mm -hmm. And David Adam Burns said, he's like, Oh, I hope it's not my fault. He said, we looked up at the screen and one of Whiskey's ears was flat and one was sticking up. He goes, I put that pink cowboy hat. I must have put it on wrong. And maybe <laughs> I got Whiskey messed up. But Brie was so emotional singing that song. And of course, we talked about Rescue here on the podcast. And it's like, you know, no, I rescued you. No, actually, you rescued me. But Brie got so emotional. And I mean, everybody was, there was like pretty much not a dry eye around. Wow, that's cool. And then her second moment was they did a um, salute to uh, our Tejano, Texas roots, Texas Tejano roots, and she brought her Selena. Oh, cool. Everyone went crazy. Yeah. So nice. that's, I'm sorry, but it's like, that actually was a highlight. There was also a tribute to Charlie Robinson. Mm. And so it was great. It was a great, great, great award show as usual. And we do want to say prayers for Dave Smith because um, mm. it's public knowledge. He was taken by ambulance. He went into cardiac arrest, getting ready for the Fresh Faces show. So many prayers for him. And he is on the road to recovery. Mm. Yeah, for sure. I also wanted to mention switching gears quickly, but uh, Gracie put out an acoustic version of a song this week. And Dylan Gossett just put out a new EP already uh, last week that you've got to go check out. So very cool. Lots of other stuff. We try our best to cover all the music, but it's based, it's actually impossible. There's no way we can cover everything. <laughs> it is so. impossible. It is totally impossible. So on that note, that's why we're always asking you guys for your help. You know, we, we love that you're listening and we love that you're sharing and keep all that up. But also if there's anybody that you're hearing that you want us to talk about, or if you're an artist yourself and you've got any music coming out, please, please, please send it to us. Uh, Texas toast podcast at gmail.com, or you could just DM me on Instagram. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's not hard to get in touch with me. You know, so many artists have sent us a song and, you know, it's it's hard for me to keep up with all of it. But, you know, I've I, half of the guests we've had have been people who have reached out to us and, you know, quote unquote, pitched themselves. And it, it mm -hmm. just, you know, the timing is a part of it. But if you're if you're making good stuff and you're working hard and everything looks good, you know, we're going to talk about your music and we're going to have you on the show and just reach out. That's all I'm saying. Just share your stuff and, you know, we're here to help you. So don't hesitate to reach out and ask. That's the thing. That's what I love to do. I love to help and encourage and just kind of take that little timeline and little plan for what, what, what works best because, and I'm going to brag because I, we're really getting some good Texas artists in my region that are stepping out of their comfort zone and they're releasing stuff to radio. And one of them, I have watched her grow up and I want everybody to wait around and just watch for Adriana live. And it's like mm -hmm. in that name, Adriana Live, is because that's all that girl has done is play live. I mean, mm -hmm. she will go and she will play everywhere, anywhere, five people, 200 people, a thousand people. And um, she just uh, opened for Austin Mead th this wow, past cool. weekend. She had a show with him and she has a single out to radio and she sends me all her music prior. And I have been like mom Helen to her for many, many years, way before the podcast and like she's a hard worker so if you see that or you hear it on the radio that's yeah adriana live and the reason why that's the name her name that she kept is because that's all she's done is play live very cool i dig mm -hmm. it i remember when we covered and was it the same song that we covered a little while back the one that's oh, out this to radio is different now? this is a different, different song this is, yeah. cool mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Y'all go check her out. Um, uh, we, we didn't mention, but our podcast this, this week that came out finally was the, the live episode we did at do do during the birthday show with Rich. That was awesome. He also talked about, you know, the struggles of Texas radio and how difficult it is just as a, like a concept in general, but how hard the struggle was and, you know, what he's still doing to kind of help amplify not only himself, but other artists like Charlie and Paige who are putting out music mm -hmm. to Texas radio. And then on this upcoming episode, uh, this coming week, we have uh, Cody Hogan from CH Lone Star Promo, who is, uh, as you know, by this point, a new sponsor and partner with Texas Toast Podcast. Um, so we talked to Cody about his whole entire journey. It's He's got a lot to say, and it was really fun talking. Um, Helen just kind of was, we mentioned it a while back, and we've had a pretty stacked cast of guests that we're, we've been releasing in accordance with promotional things. So Cody's finally up, and uh, Helen if you remember, was very, very excited about this one. So you'll see why on Tuesday when that episode drops. Hope you check it you out. Will. I, I, I love to hear stories like Cody's. I love it more than anything and the passion that he has, but how everything because of his passion and he, again, followed what his heart was telling him to do and all of this has just fallen into place. And what he does, like when he starts creating his graphics or the merch for artists or whoever, it's like he puts his heart into it. He takes it one project at a time and you're going to love him. So you got to tune in and listen to Cody. Yeah, absolutely. And then we'll start getting a bunch of these new guys in. We got a long list of people, people lined up to come on the show. So it's going to be a crazy ride for the next few months uh, here at Texas Toast Podcast. And hopefully we got uh, some more news as far as maybe some live events coming up soon. We'll see. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I got a plan. It's just, uh, <laughs> yeah. We'll things make, are we'll calm it, down. It, it got kind of like all of a sudden you know I, you know how you think you have everything planned out and you're gonna do this on this day and that day well then I took my spontaneous seat in my pants trip which put me behind a few days but it was so worth it like mm. it's just been so fun having our birthday celebration and, and seeing you and all of us being together and then being together with everybody at the awards it's like it just makes I just I like when we can have that personal contact and we can be in front of an audience. I yeah. absolutely love it. I agree completely. And speaking of being in front of a live audience, if you're a listener of the show and you want to come see me play, I'll be in Dallas uh, a week from today at Punch Bowl Social. It's part of their free uh, first Friday's event that they do in Deep Ellum. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm playing, but I think it's between eight and midnight and I'll let you guys know next week, but come out and see producer Kyle. I'm going to play some songs. He does good. We love him. <laughs> he does a great yeah. job. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, now it's that time of year where we're going to stop saying cheers and we're going to say go Strohs. Go Strohs.